land you might remember from your dreams. The power of randomness was celebrated by all. Those with dice would roll them to shape their destinies. And the bravest few would challenge each other in games of chance. Epic tournaments in which their very lives would hang in the balance. was in the era of the dice wielders and like all eras it too would come to an end fading into legend and mystery Our story begins later, in Wancroft, a small village populated entirely by people who have never once been dealt a fair hand. Attention, Warners! I am the Queen, and my dark dice will decide your fate. Random rules! See that, Bernard? You're a sixer. Oh, wow! I'm gonna live in the Queen's Dream Palace for the rest of my- Nuh-uh, you're a dirty three, doomed to a life of fighting and misery. That's cheating! Well, so is having an almighty dice, snake eye. <coughs> Stop, you guys. Wrap this up. We should really get going. It's just a game, sis. Even I promised Mom and Dad to get you home. The Queen! Was that really necessary? Come on, hurry up! Now we really have to run! Odd! Wait! Stay behind me, sis. We've got to run home and hide. Now!
Beautiful. Nothing to it, sis. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Random rules. Random rules. That's Nanny Fortuna. Works for the Queen. Kidnapping children for her. Kidnapping? And so the Queen decreed that any child who had reached the age of 12 would be given the grand honor of rolling her one true dice, which would reveal to them their place in the world of random. Hey guys, check out this secret portal. Bring me all of the children. Uh, it's uh, an old crawl's face. It works for us. Nice work, Bernie. Let's go. For the Queen's wisdom is as wide as her power, which is infinite. Which makes it very easy for all of you to do what she says. Since she is and ever shall be correct. And though you may feel a twinge of emotion when you watch your children move to them. Ensure that you are feeling the correct emotion, which is joy. Joy that the Queen's plan for us is so grand. Joy that her one true dice has deigned to fix the fate of your offspring. And joy, yes, joy that today her representative, me, the Nene Fortune. Even Odd, where have you been? We've been worried sick. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried to. There's no time. She'll be here any minute. Quick, get down. Happy birthday. Oh, even. And I got a present for you. It's so cute. Make a wish. said every child of 12 years shall throw this supreme dice and so it was for random is fair random prevails and random rules random rules be grateful child that the queen herself is here for your special day Now roll the dice and let's see what kind of person you truly are. <gasps> no. <gasps> it had been settled. <laughs> At least she'll be a sixer. It. No, even and so, Odd's destiny came to be living by the side of the Queen up in the Sixer's palace, where, it was said, all dreams came true. But Even's nightmare was just beginning.
More than a year had passed since her sister had been taken away from her, and in all that time, even had never dreamed like that before. Even knew she was now awake, and knew this was the same house she'd lived in her entire life. But something, a painting of Aunt Cordelia. She could play every single music. An image of great-great-grandfather Peters. Two hundred years ago, he ate all his clothing to win a bet. Even supposed that was the reason this portrait stopped at the neckline. These paintings showed stories Egan's mother told her was safe to share. Because they were true. So she, Even's parents had locked the door securely, as they had every night since Odd was taken. The scariest painting Even's mother had ever made was of the Shadow Man, a mysterious figure who'd gobble up children who ventured to... stuffed animal she'd given odd on the night she was taken even knew her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing but she had to go she had to know distance from even when she got closer it moved further away it was leading her somewhere Oof. easy there even what are you doing out so darn late you're running like the old witch uma put a curse on you Oh, darling, you're trying to find your sister, aren't you? I'm afraid the past is the past, child. Ah, that spark in your eye tells me you're not fooling around. I remember being your age once, I do. And I know how important imagination can seem. All right, all right, I'll get out of your way. But don't tell your parents you saw me, deal? You're quite welcome, young Miss Even. And stay away from the outskirts.
This was Onecroft, the world in which even and her small family live. Like all Warners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. All this labor was done for reasons that were never clearly understood. The Queen willed it, and no one would dare oppose her. And that was enough for everyone. Everyone, that is, except even. Come on, Burn, just hit it. It's right there. He's trying, Lucky. Aw, oh, shucks. Now I'm all out of potatoes. <laughs> no breakfast tomorrow, and you couldn't hit the spot. Smooth going, Burn. But it wasn't my... I mean, you're the one who... Aw, uh, oh, I guess you're right, Lucky. What are you doing here, anyway? Yeah, even. Are your parents letting you out after dark now? Honestly, even, I gotta say, I'm impressed. Never thought you had it in you to break a precious rule. Don't be mean, Lucky. I'm not mean. That was a compliment. I think you're cool, even. Even if you should listen to your parents more. My parents say listening to them is the coolest thing of all. You guys are so touchy. We're playing. She was talking to me. I think she was talking to all of us. Even we're playing. We're playing hit the pot with the potato. Or rather, I'm playing. These two bloobs are just losing at it. I couldn't sleep. My 12th birthday is coming up. Mine too. Gonna get to roll the dice when it comes. I'm gonna be a sixer. I know it. I'll be saying bye to all you bloobs and hi to the riches of Sixtopia. I'm not a bloob. I'm a star. My mom says so. I'm not a bloob either. Uh, uh, what's a bloob? You getting a load of these bloobs even? Well, that's just her bad luck. Not the sort of thing I've ever had to worry about. Really? How come? Because my name is Lucky, and... He meant how come even thinks it didn't work out, Lucky? <laughs> yeah, right. Like a sixer would ever care about a one -er. Please. It could happen. You don't know. I think it sounds mysterious. I love mysteries. Have fun with your cool mystery, even. See you later. Even? I knew you could do it. Lucky shot. I'm not impressed. I could do that too if I wanted. No problem. That was amazing, Even. Hey, shut up. Seem like you're looking for something, kid. <laughs> ah, I thought I recognized you. Your odd sister, right? Did the big roll a year ago, if I recall. She's in the Queen's care now, kiddo. There's nothing any of us can do. And I think you should give up on her, even. She's a sixer now. Nobody ever comes back from that. <gasps> there. You saw it, didn't you? There it was again. Whatever that 
what spirit wanted. It seemed to involve bringing even here. But why? Random rules, even. Well. Well, well, well. Look at you. I see ghosts all around us, child. Ghosts of the way the world used to be. And how it could be still if the queen would ever to die. But of course she can't. She can never die. <laughs> You've heard the good news, haven't you? The queen is a force of nature, like gravity or death. You can't argue with gravity. You don't debate death. You just go along with her. Because you know her rule is law. She is eternal. <laughs> She's never wrong. She makes the rules. Random rules. And they're always right. It's incredible to live at the same time as such a wondrous being. I hope one day she notices me, up riding a shining spider stallion, notices my love for her, notices my worship. You can't escape her, you know. No one can. It's all perfectly designed. I'd love every minute of it. One town was unique. Some who lived here were kind, treating the queen with respect, and others seemed to have been broken by her in one way or another. But it was home, the only home even had ever known. Big city life. Oh, it must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. So two-sided. strange figure even knew that her fate was changing that her future was suddenly filled with unknowns and she also had the distinct feeling that she wouldn't be back home for quite some time
Stephen could barely make out what the ghostly figure was. It was beautiful, inscrutable, and there seemed to be a sorrow to her. There was no time to think. Even was either going home to her parents without answers and with even more questions than before, or she was getting on that boat. She felt a pull beckoning towards something new. Some nice cards you have there, kiddo. You find them yourself. Well, heck, let me take a look. <laughs> maybe, maybe these old papers will notice something you haven't. Well, look at these. Oh, these used to be everywhere, you know that? Oh, folks did trade them on the regular. Used to have quite a collection myself. I got, I got them straight from the factories in five tropolis where they made them, you know. Mint in books. Of course, it was before the war. A lot changed that night. We're still dealing with the consequences. Yeah, look around you, Missy. This ain't what things used to be. This ain't what things are supposed to be, either. The Queen, she distorted it all. Turned us from good, honest folks into... Uh, into whatever this is now. The most don't remember it. Only me, it feels like sometimes.
This ain't your home, kid. You don't belong here. You don't get to come here. This is my reserve spot. You get your own. Go away! What do you think I'm doing here? We're all trying to hide, kid. Now leave! This is Herman's hidey hole! My little stowaway chamber, my realm of adlubescence that you're not invited in. It's my ticket out of this muddy town. Means something that's delightful. Like my room here, I, I, wow, you really are just a kid, huh? Well, well, well guess what? I myself was a kid once, Kid Herman, and now I'm adult Herman, and I'm getting out of here. Now go find your own spot. There are no, oh, come on, there's got to be other spots, go find them. Oh, for the love of... Uh, fine, fine, you little, little guilt tripper. I'll let you in. Oh, but before I do, we got ourselves some house rules. One, be quiet. Two, don't touch anything. And three, be quiet and don't touch anything. <laughs> 